Hi, this is Pankari and you're watching me on Movie Talkies and today we have with us Pia Bajpai who's all set to mark her Bollywood debut with Lal Rang. Welcome to our show, Pia. Thank you so much, Pankari. And from Itawa to Mumbai, mm -hmm. how has the journey been? Very interesting one, I would say, because um, I'm from a very small town, Itawa, like everybody knows about it. And it's very, very tough to come out from the city and especially to become a heroine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it was very tough challenging but I was having fun in my own way. So how has the journey been? Uh, till now I would say I'm very happy. I mean whatever I got after all the struggle and all and um, when I was struggling uh, to get uh, to come to Bombay and to get work here it was it was very tough. I mean it was hell of a struggle I did. Uh, I did odd jobs like uh, I was a receptionist in a computer institute. Mm. I used to uh, take tuitions and uh, then when I came back, to, when I came to Bombay again for surviving again, I become a receptionist somewhere. <laughs> and uh, I started with my dubbing. I used to dub for other people and then print ads and the commercial ads and the films. So was there any opposition from the family when you did it? Opposition know, you was announced. actually from everywhere, not only my family, oh. it was from everywhere. So when I came to Bombay, I didn't tell my any friend that I'm going to Bombay because if I tell them I want to become a heroine, so they, I know they, they're going to laugh. Judge you. And, and no, not judging, they're going to laugh because okay. it's some, something which is very impossible for them. Yeah. And uh, if I can't make it, then I mean, how are I going to go back? How are I going to face them? So I didn't tell anybody. Uh, only my, my parents, they were aware of it that I'm trying to do uh, something like this in Bombay. So mm -hmm. convincing my parents was a tough job. Mm -hmm. But the only thing, I was in Delhi. So I was already out of my house. Mm -hmm. So going Bombay is just a little far. <laughs> so I was okay with it. And uh, my dad, he actually told me like, um, I mean, do whatever you want to do in your life. But anything happens, like good or bad or whatever, it's, you, are you are responsible. Yeah. So I said, okay, cool. Okay. So yeah. how now that you finally bagged a film, so how does it feel? I'm still, it, actually, I, I, I want to tell you something, I'm still not in sync. Mm -hmm. I, I saw my film, I was very happy and then I saw a, again a film with the press people mm -hmm. uh, last night mm -hmm. and they gave me amazing reviews. So I'm still not in sync because I couldn't sit alone and like, you know, think about it, the kind of reviews I'm getting, mm -hmm. which is a very big thing mm -hmm. coming from a non filmy background without any backup, without any support or anything and all you surviving here uh, just because of your talent. So for me, it was very, very important that people should like my work. They should talk about my work from my first film itself. Mm. So it happened last night and I was, I'm like very happy. But I think still I will take a four, five, six days to get into that zone that, yeah, okay. everything it is fine. Happened. Yeah, finally happened, yes. Right. So how did Lal Rang happen? How did you bag the role? Uh, I, uh, I, last year I signed with Kunalam Shah. Yeah, he owns this company, Trend and Times. Mm. He, 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 he's my manager. So I actually met him and randomly I told him that I want to do a film with Randi Puda. Mm -hmm. Nothing was there that time. I mean, Lal Rang was not in picture, nowhere, nothing. So he said, okay, fine, if anything good comes up, I will let you know. Mm -hmm. And then uh, within seven days, he called me. He said, uh, uh, there is a director, Sayyid Ahmed Afzal, who made Yangistan. He is doing a film with Randi Puda. So I think you guys should meet. I said, okay, I met Afzal. He narrated me the whole script. I had never heard before about the blood crime, the blood smuggling. So I was clueless and he was also clueless about me. <laughs> then he told me, okay, fine, give a look test. The Mia actually gave a, you know, gave a very like long look test. It was a whole day shoot. We shot for four scenes and that's how I got my film. So dreams do come true. Definitely. It comes, but you know, I mean, there are going to be lots of people who are going to pull you down. There are going to be lots of things where you will feel it's not worth. Just mm. just go back and do whatever you want to do. But then if you can fight with these all things, then definitely dreams do come true. So tell us about your character in the film. My character name is Poonam Sharma and uh, Poonam is from Saharanpur. It's a very small town and uh, she wears the salwar suit. But then uh, she's a very confident girl and she's not that innocent also. Some cleverness is definitely there. The small town cleverness, which I can understand like what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, she's like, um, uh, whatever written in a book can be wrong, but she can't be wrong. So she is oh. that, that kind of attitude. She's always had. right. Yeah, I'm always right. Yes, yes. And she, she has bought this book, Rapidex. 
English so, course. Yes, English course. And she learned English from there and she tried to speak in English. Like whenever she gets the opportunity and she, she talks very bad English. Like she, she actually, she had S in every word. Oh. It's like, I love you. I like you. Oh. You are, you are mad. It's like that. <laughs> so, which is very funny. funny. Yeah. yeah. So, this is my character. And me and Akshay, we, we have a very strong love track in the film. So, w whatever Akshay's character is changing in the film with the, with the scene, so it's all because of Poonam's character. Hmm. So, we have a very strong uh, like combination there. So, you come from a small town. Your character is from mm -hmm. a small town. Yeah. How, uh, do, do you relate to your character definitely at all? Definitely, I do. Definitely, I do. Because... Uh, Did it become a little easier for you? Very easy. I don't do any homework for it. Oh, okay. I, I actually uh, uh, spoke to Afzal about this. I said, let me know if you want me to do some homework or something. He said, no, no, please don't do anything. <laughs> I just, uh, I mean, um, after coming to Delhi and then Bombay, so whatever grooming you have done to yourself, just delete that. I don't want any, oh. any part of it. I want you how you were in Itawa. Hmm. I said, okay, fine. So what I did um, uh, in my uh, home, I was wearing the salwar kurta and all, mm -hmm. and I spoke to some of my very old friends. And the way we talk in uh, in yeah. a house, yeah. So I started talking in that lingo. Hmm. So it was so easy. In two days, you I was back. You got into the skin of your character. Two, just two days. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So the role came quite easy to you. Very easy. It was a cakewalk for me. <laughs> And I don't do any makeup in the film, so I used to get ready in 10 minutes. Hmm. I mean, there was nothing to get ready. Hmm. You're marking your debut with this film. Yes. Did you feel jittery on the first day of the shoot? No, not at all. No? No. Because, uh, I mean, I was, I was very happy because <laughs> I didn't need to do anything for the character. I, was, I thought I was going for a picnic or something because Afzal is a very good friend of mine. And we did workshop together, like uh, Randeep Huda, Akshay. We, we all did workshop together and I was well prepared for my role. So there was no nervousness, there was no jittery, nothing. Yes. So you knew the cast already? Yeah, I knew everyone there. So it was pretty cool. So how was it working with Randeep Huda? Amazing. It, it has been a learning experience for me because he is a very, very passionate actor. And um, the way he works, it, it's just like, it's like a, he's an institute in himself. You can learn a lot of things from him. And um, it was like, when, whenever he used to do his scene, it was like, I don't know, you're watching some magic or something. It was out of the world. Very so, spontaneous. No, I think he's not spontaneous. Okay. He's a um, method actor. Uh, I don't know if I should use this word method actor, but I don't know what he does. He goes into character or character goes into him. Something <laughs> happens there, which I'm not aware. All right. So Akshay Obroy is playing your love interest in the yeah. film. How was it working with him? Me and Akshay, we were supposed to do some more film together, hmm. uh, like before Lal Rang. Hmm. And for some reason, it didn't work out. We were supposed to do pizza as well. Oh. Yeah, we gave audition and I was on the, on the, on the finalist girls. Oh. But for some reason, it didn't work out. But I, I knew this thing that me and Akshay, we, we were destined to work together. Hmm. So when Lal Rang audition, we gave together, I said, Akshay, if this is not going to work out, I will never give audition with you. <laughs> so Akshay is a very good friend of mine. Hmm. And uh, because when we were shooting, like, lots of scenes we shot mm. together. So most of the time we used to, like, have lunch together mm. and the breakfast or the dinner. So it was, a, I think, a, a very good chemistry was there, which helped us a lot. I mean, if you see the scene, there is a comfort level between us. Mm. So, and Akshay is a very good actor. He is, uh, I'm more uh, a spontaneous one, but Akshay is, like, well-prepared actor. So a very good combination, I would say. So since you were the newcomer, the new kid on the block, did they bully you? A lot, a lot. I remember uh, I'm on, uh, like I got a break for seven days or something. So I said I don't want to go back to Bombay because my first film, you know, that first mm -hmm. film charm. I said I want to be on set and like I just want to mingle with the team and all. So uh, after a day, I told Afzal, I said give me some work because I just can't sit on set like that. He gave me this uh, continuity department. He yeah. said, just see uh, Randeep Buddha's clothes. Yeah. I said, how can I to do this? <laughs> so Randeep, he used to pull my leg a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, he will come on set and he will say, uh, where is continuity assistant? So he will never take my name. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, continuity <laughs> assistant, <Kaun> si shirt hai? <laughs> and I used to look at him there, <laughs> which shirt to give him. So it was fun. And so you turned assistant for? Ha, for Randi Kuda's continuity. Yes, yes, definitely. And then, uh, I mean, um, I was very, like, little uh, careful about my diet and all. Mm -hmm. So he used to say, don't even, you know, saas bhi mat lena yaan pe. Haryana mein saas leke bhi log mote ho jate hai. So they actually pull a lot. A lot of yes, yes, yes. Tell us about some 
interesting trivia or an incident which happened during the shooting of the film and there is a scene in the film where it's kind of a making out scene me and akshay and um, akshay came to me and he told me that listen this scene and in this in the scene also we are drinking mm. so he came to me and he told me listen the scene is like a very hot sort of scene and we are drinking mm. so it will be good if we actually drink at mm. least one pack or something mm. and i don't drink so mm. I, but even then for the scene i knew that it's going to be very intense scene i said okay fine let's try i will so we both mm. got ready for it and akshay's uh, boy he made these packs mm. which was very very strong so because i don't drink when i had one glass mm. nothing happened to me okay. when i had second pack nothing happened to me so i told akshay nothing is happening with me he said oh worry till that i will come for shooting you will Something be set will happen. i said okay <laughs> and then i we went on set and we were just rehearsing a line then it hit me a little bit yeah. but then again we were drinking continue we were drinking mm. So when the actual shoot time came, we were high, and how I have, I know, and when the director he got so scared because I was like too high, I was too high. Actually, I'm still little sober, but I was too high, and my condition was this: if they don't shoot right now, I'm going to sleep here only. Yeah. And my director of Zal he got scared. Yeah. He was like like he he thought we're not gonna do anything. I mean yeah. the shoot can't happen today, yeah. but somehow we did it. morning i'm like so conscious because mm. everybody got to that i was drunk mm. morning i'm asking everyone did i do anything <laughs> wrong last night <laughs> is everything was okay <laughs> so didn't bully you about that oh you did something wrong no 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 akshay was there he's a pretty sweet guy he's a no no nothing everything was so were fine. there any apprehensions doing the love making no scene? they were drunk now <laughs> no before that when the script came to you no nothing like there that. was nothing no, 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 okay yeah You worked down south as well. Now you worked in Bollywood. How different is working in a south film as compared to a Bollywood film? Very different. Uh, why? Because uh, first of all, in south, uh, when I was shooting for films, I, I don't know the language, mm. so it was a uh, like pretty hard for me. Mm. I remember once I was shooting for a bilingual film, Tamil and Telugu. Before that, I used to learn my lines. Mm -hmm. but when i was shooting for bilingual i cannot learn two two page like the okay. same time so okay. i learn prompting hmm. but prompting is like is quite disturbing because somebody is saying your lines so you you listening to those lines no, no 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 the flow and everything is there hmm. you will rehearse with the person who is hmm. prompting for hmm. you hmm. so he will stop exactly where you want him to stop but the thing is your mind is working in see for different direction because somebody sitting there saying your lines you have to listen to him yeah. yeah and then you have to express yourself so it is too much of work yeah. but in bollywood i mean there is no language of no problem of language because hindi is my mother tongue so uh, it was such a big relief for me to know my lines without any prompting or without any thing and um, yeah that's i mean for me it was a big big difference so why should people go and watch lal rang because it's a good film it's a different film i mean nobody ever made before a, blood, a film on blood uh, smuggling mm -hmm. and it's not a preachy film we are not preaching anything in the film very relatable characters very ha and the characters are very real i mean if people will see uh, poonam sharma so the girls from uh, small town character. girls yeah which is my character they will say yeah we are like this only we talk like this only we we wear salwar suit like this there is no makeup it's not like how come she can put so much of makeup we don't do it so it's so real shankar's character is so real akshay's character is so real we have beautiful music in the film and all like commercial elements which should be in a film mm -hmm. like uh, your romance good romantic tracks are there and fight action drama emotional drama everything is there so i think uh, people nowadays the audience they are very smart they really want some quality film mm -hmm. so if they want to watch something really good they should go to theater and watch and if they watch then more producer will come and make better films so tell us more about your future projects I have done a film called a beautiful, beautiful film called Mirza Juliet. I'm very excited about that film. My uh, co-actor is Darshan Kumar, uh, very calm fame, and it should release sometimes in August or September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm just getting ready for it. So the film is releasing now, Lal Rang. Yes. Are you getting those butterflies in the stomach? Are you jittery about your first film? I don't know why I'm just not. <laughs> Nobody is, I think. In your ca, uh, you know. Because the entire cast is very confident. I have seen the film. I have seen with the uh, like with the friends, and I have seen with the media as well. Mm -hmm. So that that the jittery thing has gone completely gone, and I know we will get very good reviews from the media and from the public as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why I'm just not getting <laughs> nervous or any jittery. I, God knows why. 
Sophia, thank you so much for coming on our show thank and so I wish you all the best for Lal Rang and all your future endeavors. Thank you so thank much. You.